there. Welcome back to Real Women Live. Joining us in the studio now is Susan Jacobs. She is the owner of Personal Style Image Consultant, and she is going to tell us, do we look fabulous? You look fabulous. Thank you, Susan, and <laughs> so do you. That's right. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. It's yeah. my pleasure. So, Susan, just to clarify, what exactly is a Personal Style Consultant? What is an image consultant? Yes. I will tell you. Okay, my job is, number one, to dress people and make them feel great about themselves. But secondly, an image consultant deals with all aspects of image. So what most people don't know, it's not just the clothing, it's everything to do with appearance. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's attitude, it's mm -hmm. demeanor, it's manners, it's little tiny things. It's just like the hanging the paintings on the wall. It is, it's all the fine details. The little details. And working out the perception that yeah. is out there about you. So that's sure. what an image consulting job So is. you're looking at the person, the whole package. Exactly. Right? Not just all of the wear. package. Not yeah. just the clothing. We'll get, it is about clothing, yeah. but it's not just that. It's far more than that. Okay. And actually the clothes are just the, they like the icing on the cake. So that's what just makes the, that product, that you product, better. Mm -hmm. So it's so, about image. And so when you say icing on the cake, so the clothes have to, obviously they have to fit you well, they have to look good, but more importantly, they have to, you're communicating to the world something about yourself when you dress a That's way. right. So the name of the business that I have is called Personal Style, and when I decided that name, I, I, I took it seriously because there, there is a style for everyone, but not every style suits everyone. And I like mm, to think that I can help people, and Shelly knows this because mm -hmm. she experienced that's it right. firsthand. I was your client. Yes, you are. You are my client. That's so right. we want to make that person unique, but they, we still, I work within what's best for that person based on their budget, based on their career demands, based on their goals and what looks good on mm -hmm. them. Because you know what? Styles, you can have your version of the style, but what we see on the runway is certainly we can apply it minimally in our real life. It's just sort of a fantasy out mm -hmm. there. Right. So it's all about Absolutely. being real for that person and making each person unique and different. <laughs> and what if you've got somebody who loves their a, a particular style or a particular <laughs> color? And has 10 of them in her closet. Oh, <laughs> or, yes. colors. Or, or just has a... a, a Maybe some figure unflattering choice has made some mm. figure unflattering choices. How do you tell that person, oh, this isn't working for you? <laughs> I don't tell them unless I'm asked because that doesn't win you very many votes. And actually, people that hire me, though, are very serious about their mm -hmm. image. And for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. I seem to have, you know, clients from the age of 30 to 70, both men and women. And the common goal, the goal is, is the same. They just want to look their best. And they realize that, you know, for whatever reason, when they feel good, and when they invest in themselves, a lot of other positive things mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. So, and when they're paying me, they want complete honesty. Absolutely. And I'm, sure. one thing I am is very honest because yes. I want them I just want them to be the best they can be my goal for each client is I just want to step back and watch them just be be fabulous yeah. because Flourish. everybody has assets and mm -hmm. I just I work to bring those to the forefront yeah and it's, it's a great job like we said I was a client of yours and yes. Sue came to my closet and we went through all the clothing that I had there yes. and it's you did an insult you would say for pants, you should be doing this because of my body type type of thing. And so yeah. these don't really do that for you, Shelley. They don't flatter you that way. So I thought it was it was very good. I wasn't insulted whatsoever. We threw out quite a bit no, of things. No, we did. We edited yeah. in. And with yeah. Shelley and like a lot of women, um, we they tend to, we, you know, tend to go to what works. Yeah. And if you're busy and if you don't, you know, and it's overwhelming. For men, it's much easier mm -hmm. to look pulled together. Mm -hmm. For women, it is overwhelming. And we have all those media images of that we can't live up to because they're airbrushed and shrunk, Size shrunken. <laughs> so it's not exactly. a realistic goal. So, exactly. you know, you have to just, I'm very, um, I like to teach <laughs> because my background is teaching. So I like to work with the client to make sure they understand why we're getting rid of these things. Mm -hmm. Do you understand about you're a petite or you're tall or you like all brown, but you're mm -hmm. six feet tall. We want to break up that look and mm -hmm. not make you look like you're seven feet tall. Things like that. Right, right. I like to teach people how to cheat with little tips. Yes, that I have. figure to flattering. Look taller, to look things. more busty. Can you share a couple of those no. tips with us? <laughs> yes, of course. You have to come and see her again. Sure. You can ask <laughs> what specifically, for myself, I'm petite. Petite meaning five foot four or, or, or under. And you can also be petite if you're size zero to size 20, which a lot of women don't mm -hmm. realize. So mm -hmm. for someone like myself, I am small here, small chested. So there are li lo lots of tricks that I like mm -hmm. to show women to do. So of course, 
course, an outfit like you're wearing tonight, mm -hmm. Lori, especially this season when belts are huge, when you r lift it up a little and put it right under the bra line, it really, it not only makes myself look taller, but it adds a little volume to the bust area. Mm -hmm. And then things like adding pockets to jackets. And so consequently, when a lady is full figured and busty, I want to make sure we don't decorate, you know, a full tone body. A we just bit. tone it down and play it off. Don't put ruffles, don't wear mm -hmm. pockets and lots of, you know, studs and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. So what Good motivates tips. people to to seek out your services? Is it a, a changing career? Um, is it a ch is it a life stage, perhaps? Um, we I, hear about the midlife crisis where we think, OK, that's it. I need to get to the gym. I need to go on a diet. I need I, to go buy a sports car. <laughs> a lot of it's male, yeah. male mental problems. Yeah. For men, it's it's very clear. They need some clothes, their wife has been hounding them, mm -hmm. or their uh -huh. wife is a client of mine. <laughs> and it's a very different thing. So, and they're in and out, they, they get it. If things look good, okay, I'll have one of all of those colors. Yeah, let's do the shirts, ties, suits, that's fine. But my, my corporate business seems to be growing. And I, mm -hmm. I, I think, I believe the reason is because when it's sort of tough times financially, companies are looking for an edge. And the one thing you can control is image. Mm -hmm. So when I talk to people, whether it's a law firm or a bank or a financial investment institution, I try to show the clients how your, your, the way you behave and the way you dress and how that reflects your company, how that acts collectively. And when each person just tries a little bit and makes a, s a small effort, then the collective impact is great. And you have to kind of show people that this isn't about the job because you, Personally, you, you benefit from making that investment in yourself and, and put, putting yourself out there mm -hmm. and communicating to the world who you are and what you want to say. A lot of people don't realize the mistakes they're making mm -hmm. in their visual presentation. They don't know. Sure. You know, and, sure. and, and I, there's little exercises I can do with them to, to say, try it on your friends. Ask them, what would your impression be of me if you just met me for the first time at a meeting? Oh. Because you may not know you're coming across too strongly or not at all or your clothes are dated which reflects on your skills mm -hmm. and people don't realize sure. what do you mean you know so and it's as simple as going in for a an update for a hairdo a consultation for new eyeglasses or mm -hmm. going to a makeup counter and saying what what should I be wearing as far as makeup on a daily basis just to look finished it's mm -hmm. just those little tips and, and like you said it's not just about the physical no, necessarily no. that you're looking at so you no. really need to get to know your client I on do. a very personal level I do. Yes, she does one thing I wanted to point out uh, being a client of Sue's is when I initially hired you, I was a little bit afraid about going shopping and how much this would cost. But Sue, you're really good at taking what I had that you thought would work yes. and mixing and matching and doing all these different yeah. things, things that I thought should be thrown out. You right. said, no, that's back. And that's do it. A, so it that's doesn't cost a lot of money. No, which thank is you nice. for bringing that up because I do think that a lot of people believe that mm -hmm. hiring an image consultant is not for them. Oh, I couldn't afford it. But actually, in the long run, what we do is we save you money. I go in and edit, but I also like to recycle clothing yes. and use them again. So if your jeans are too short but you love them, we'll cut them off to just below the knee. We can make a crop pant. We can tailor it, cut, make it make a, um, a capri pant, add the right mm -hmm. shoe. Footwear is key. Most people, once I change what they're wearing on their feet, they look and they go, oh, look at look how different it looks. Yeah. So, and I love yeah. it. Shoes, my oh. goodness. Accessories are a shoes. big deal. Mm -hmm. I am <laughs> so glad you said that. My oh, husband no. needs to know this, that <laughs> oh. it's okay to have 30 or 40 shoes. pairs yeah. of shoes. Right? The right You just gave shoes. me permission mm -hmm. to have more shoes, didn't you? <laughs> not sure. I'm not sure. You have to have the right shoes. And you right have to shoes. know what to wear with what and what's flattering. And, it, and shoes, it's amazing. But accessories, I'll give you this tip. Yeah. All of you out there, Accessories should make up 70% of your wardrobe. Wow. And by that I mean jewelry, belts, scarves, purses, yes. 70%. Oh, wow. That's pretty and, shocking yeah. that it's that mm -hmm. high. Yeah. Well, like mm -hmm. with Shelly, Shelly had a lot of black bottoms. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women have that kind of, yeah. of situation. Mm -hmm. But when you have so much of one thing, you can't make it look different. Yeah. No, and so no, once no. we get rid of that and introduce brown into Shelly's wardrobe, it and my goodness, some up. colors like color. lilac <laughs> and blue, Absolutely. it's just, yeah. it's, it's a whole it looks, new world. Looks yeah. Well, Sue, so you're going to be a regular guest on our show. Yes. That's so we're going to have you back again. We have run out of time. Oh, OK. We, so uh, we look wow. forward to your next visit. I've got okay. so many more fashion questions, as do our viewers, I'm sure. Oh. But uh, don't go away. There's more with Real Women Live right after this. Back in 90 seconds.